Hello folks. Hottest day of the year, which now means that it's the right day to start in on stripping out the combustion engine drivetrain out of the V70. Now you might reasonably think that I'd be doing my kind of usual brutal style of engine removal here. Sadly it's not really going to be totally the case. There will be some brutality, uh, but I need to be reasonably careful. And the reason for that is that this engine and gearbox and some, uh, some other parts of the car are going to be getting packed up and shipped to a friend of mine. So, can't be too crazy. So the mission at the minute is, we're going to take the top uh, mounting bar off there and see if that gets us access to the exhaust flange bolts on the back of the turbo. That's not a good start, is it? Don't tell me there's a nut on the back of these things, is there? Seriously, Volvo, we're gonna, this is the way we're gonna go, is it? Yeah, that's not up to a flying start, is it? That was just downright rude. There's a nut on it. It's an honest to god nut on this thing. That's okay. It's okay. We're professionals. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. See, that's how we do it. Flat. No, no, no. That's not how, oh wow, is that engine mount supposed to behave like that? I'm going to say that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to say that's just fine. Is that her? There we go. Yes! I'm just going. Right, time for some plasma paint stripping. Can I do some plasma paint stripping here? I think I can. Okay, exhaust out, pumped out about, oh I don't know, about 15 gallons of diesel, and then got this friggin' thing out, which was an absolute tour de force. Now we gotta drain the oils out of our wonderful engine. What the good news is, got a lot of lovely space back under the vehicle. Uh, now that we've all that stuff out of there But it wouldn't be the V70 If there wasn't more abuse that we have to uh, Contend with the mixed bag wheel nuts were great fun Now of course uh, the oil drain Is been murdered in there So that's great. That'll probably round off Ah Got it broken loose. Very cool. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Mmm, only the finest hydrocarbons for you, V70. 
wonder if they have the sparkle in them. Everyone likes a bit of sparkle in their hydrocarbons. Let's see what kind of gold awaits us in the gearbox. Ah, yes. Did it round off? Almost. Oh no, it actually loosened. Well, yeah, well that's probably because this one had never been changed. Be chunks in this as well. Oh. Oh. Yes. Wow. Oh yeah. Mmm. Tasty. Well, President Trump said, leave the black gold to me. I'm perfectly happy to do that. Alright, so, got the air conditioning compressor disconnected in here. There's no gas in the system anyway, so it's one less thing I have to worry about. Getting near it now. The only thing left, oil-wise, is our power steering. So I got my tray underneath here, got the bracket off this, this is our high pressure line here, actually I must stick that rag over the alternator, no point letting that silly oil into that. As I get the pipe off I can kind of stick it down here because I have the tray directly under us. Oil. There we go. Can go down there with the air conditioning lines. Got a small bit of wire and harness here. We need to release. Um, yeah, the harness here is part of the engine loom. This piece here. Assume it's something to do with the mass airflow or something like that. Uh, there's another. Cable tie there, yeah, there it is. That's some other connector, maybe a coolant temp sensor or some other scenario there. Um, let's professionally disconnect that. There we go. And there's some other sensor here. And uh, professionally disconnect that. near it now it's these engine mountings to get and uh, yeah then we should be good to put this car back down lift this thing out of here place your bets mm. surprising one down one to go This one has a couple extensions on it, so I don't know if this will work as well. Nope. Mounting here is a true bolt and that that I've already taken out, but I'm just gonna pop out these two bolts, hopefully here. Make life a little easier. Our 
JCB car jack for that matter. Yeah, this is more of a JCB car jack, I think. Let's see what happens. be kind of halfway off the mounting it's the same at the one in the back so I'm gonna guess it's just wedged on them because they're at a bit of an angle and I'm sure nothing can go wrong here I well, probably won't actually oh wait now there we go there we go and there's something moving on that one now let's try that So, um, yeah, there's your problem, lady. Obviously, uh, somebody, it can't have been me, uh, might have forgotten about this one, or might have omitted it. Like I said, can't have been me, because I'm just too damn good. All right. strain on that fastener. Boom! There we go.
Right, the engine and some other goodies from the car and not from the car are packed up on the pallet. And let's have a look and see what kind of carnage we caused in here with that professional engine pull. The front main engine mount, I guess you could call it, decided to park company. There's the remains of it in there. Um, as you probably saw, we were able to get the bonnet into the service position, but it was at the cost of breaking the, I um, don't know how that's going to be seen, but breaking these little plastic clips on the, on the struts. And, you know, it's not, it's not a showstopper. Um, they're only struts. There was no damage to the windscreen or the bonnet or anything else, fortunately. Well, okay, tiny bit there, but we can massage that back into shape, I'm sure. Um, what else do we get? Uh, we managed to slightly bust the fan shroud, but I fixed that professionally with some duct tape. Also, more concernedly or worriedly, did make into the bottom of the ABS pump. I also fixed that professionally with some duct tape. Uh, don't think the board in there got damaged, but we definitely damaged the plastic cover. But if that's all that gets damaged, then not too bad. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Um, oh yeah, there was power steering, the steel power steering pipe down there got uh, nutted, but that's not a problem because I only need that little bit there anyway. I'll be replacing that with a hydraulic line to our power steering pump. Um, obviously this whole engine compartment needs to be hosed down with degreaser and given a pressure clean before we even think about doing anything else in here. Uh, but yeah, overall not terrible uh, considering um, <laughs> considering how tightly squeezed in there that uh, that engine uh, was. Just in case any of you had forgotten, this is what's going to be going into our uh, V70. This is our, I believe it's an MG5 uh, drive unit uh, that are reverse engineered last year. We've tested it here on the bench so this now has an, an open inverter board in it and available for it. So this will be uh, the V70 will be our test platform uh, for this project but it's uh, it's quite a nice drive unit and I have to say I'd much rather be working on that than what I just pulled out of that vehicle. All right, folks, so I guess that's about it, really. Um, just a quick update for you on the V70. Uh, we'll be getting the MG drive unit into that in due course. A um, lot of other projects going on. We'll have some video for you on soon, particularly the Model 3 uh, PCB project. So stay tuned for that. Um, so that's it. Um, needless to say, that wasn't the right way to uh, extract an engine and gearbox from a V70. Uh, so don't, don't use your JCB at home to do that, because that's wrong, okay? So that's it. We'll see you folks hopefully in the next fun-packed episode. And until then, until then, oh yes, Links in the description, usual suspects, ones to avoid, ones to look at. Um, until then, happy engine compartment degreasing. <laughs>